Hello everybody, Brian from Say Intentions here. We've got an exciting announcement today. This is something that we've been thinking about doing for a long time. Uh, finally made it up to the top of the priority list for our dev group that works on these types of things, specifically the app that connects the simulator uh, on your computer to the Say Intentions ATC and cloud network. Uh, one of the things that we are really proud of at Say Intentions is that our stuff works um, really agnostic of the simulator itself. The only thing we need in order to make our stuff work is basic telemetry data from the sim, altitude, heading, airspeed, um, just the types of things that um, in the real world ATC can see on radar. All of the, uh, the, the flight navigation data, the frequencies, the airspace data, really everything else that's needed uh, exists inside of our cloud infrastructure. For, so from that perspective, the way that Say Intentions is modeled is actually very close to the way real-life ATC works. Again, in the real world, ATC can really only see the telemetry data on your aircraft until uh, you've activated your transponder, and then they can get just a little bit more information on it. We model that perfectly. And one of the things that allows us to do is work with a variety of flight simulators. And that's why we can work today with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, 2024. We also work, work with X-Plane 11, X-Plane 12, uh, P3D V5, P3D V6. And all of this is because, again, we're not relying on um, any actual data from inside the simulator, again, other than basic telemetry data. So today we're making an announcement that takes this to the next level uh, by introducing something we call Sim API, which actually allows us to integrate with any flight simulator um, that can export uh, telemetry data. So today we're going to we're going to talk about that just a little bit. We'll keep this nice and short. Uh, but if you go to sayintentions.ai slash simapi, you'll actually get all of the details on how this works. The most important uh, thing here is that you can now connect any flight simulator to the Say Intentions ecosystem by building a small adapter that, uh, that connects the two together. In other words, if you can get into the simulator and you can export the basic telemetry data, there's probably maybe 15 or 20 data fields that we need, then you can now connect that simulator into the Say Intentions ecosystem. And the reality is that most flight sims that are out there can be integrated to work with say intentions really with probably just a few hours of work if you if you've got a developer who's experienced with um, exporting these variables uh, out of the the simulator so this is really really simple to build adapters now that can connect say intentions to any ecosystem so uh, again takes just Probably for an experienced developer who's done um, similar things, uh, probably just a couple hours of work. Um, and uh, the adapter can be written in any language. Uh, so if you're a C++ person or a C Sharp person or you want to use some other language, Python, uh, whatever you want to use uh, is, is fine. Um, and the only um, real restriction is that the adapter needs to be able to read and write to the same hard drive that the Say Intentions application is installed on. If you can do that, again, you can now take Say Intentions and bring it to any flight sim out there. So we're very excited about the possibilities of connecting with um, some of the other simulators that you guys are using, uh, including um, the potential for integrating with other commercial flight simulators, and even some of the more obscure simulators that are out there. We're very excited about this. Uh, go to sayintentions.ai slash simapi. All of the documentation is there on how to do this. Again, it's very simple. Uh, if you need some help, jump into our Discord, and uh, I'm happy to give you a hand. But we're excited about this, and I hope that you guys are too. I'm very excited to see uh, what adapters you guys bring to our ecosystem, and uh, enjoy.